Hello everybody, and welcome back to more Japan and Mayo and Taxes. Continuing the waiting game. Talked about a bunch of plans in the last episode. Oh, pretty good. I'm excited for this campaign, as I have been saying this entire time. Lots of, uh, lots of planning went into this. More than, uh, in pretty much every E4 campaign that I've ever done. <laughs> Alright, so Empower Kami is here. Um, as we discussed earlier, it is a no-go. Not do it until everybody's really happy with me. And divert trade. And here. And here even. Eye on those guys. Yeah, be uh, interesting. Don't need legitimacy, so we will go ahead and do this, I guess. Import. Oh, one other thing I noticed is we are okay. We were two over the force limit, but now we're down to one. Not too bad. What changed? I think I had gained that much dev. Capital has gone up by one since I last checked. Important center of production. Nice. I don't think we have any regular ones. One thing we could do is go ahead and start building this province up, and I think I will go ahead and do that. I think that's what I'm going to do with my money. Before I do that, though, I should probably get some more... Or get everything cored. Yeah, I probably won't have that much of an impact yet. What we should do is probably start with marketplace. Yeah, the marketplace here. The other one. I'm just thinking about uh, trade centers. We can definitely build a pretty big city right here, anyways. So. This is a great natural harbor. Beautiful. We also have the estuary right here. Also not a bad place to build a trade city. We'll probably work on that too. We get some more ports. We do have rapid communication. I don't think that's going to be as good as we go further north, of course. At where communication is coming from, it's coming from this province. I imagine this one's coming from there. Right? And on, yes. I like this. To this port. We need more ports. And here would be a good one, for sure. Okay, once we get this cord, we should probably uh, invest in that. I think we need a commune hall. And start getting port levels up. Where are you, Q? Wait, why are you so mad? Oh, I'm diverting trade. Okay. Shooting monks. Oh no. The problem is. Calm down. The road here. We don't. Yes, we definitely want to continue doing this. I don't have a road here. That's probably not that big of a deal. Not yet, at least. I think it's more... It's going to be more long-term impactful to build stuff over here. We do want to try to centralize the population a little bit in this province, for sure. We'll have the, uh, the trade modifiers. So we'll work on that. Rather than spending straight money on a road, because eventually we can throw excess manpower around all over the place. That'll definitely be more efficient. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and deselect that. We'll click that when we're ready. We won't be ready for quite some time. Nobles demand privileges, they can have it. 
no point in trying to fight them right now. We'll just end up demoting. Speaking of which, how expensive would that be? Expensive. It cost me here. Three. Now we're going to do this. We need to make everybody happy. And we'll probably, like I said, we'll work on demoting people. I don't want to demote yet. We'll wait until we have a little bit more land up here. I'm going to make that click as effective as possible. Yeah, we'll demote uh, and revoke here. Probably go ahead and try to revoke here, to be honest. While oh, they're still really dis or, uh, not disloyal. Uh, they are very in... not influential, yes. And revoke that and hope that we don't get stab hit at all since they have five influence. Come on, game. Am I running a good trade policy? Doing hostile trading over here? I guess that's fine for Korea. So we're in that node. And over here. Gonna do established communities for the extra improved relations. Should have been doing that a long time ago. We're upset with a 25% chance to take one stab hit. Please no. Let it happen. Okay. Ooh. 5% influence. Be able to do it. Is this Korea? Oh god, Korea's invading. So this guy's a Jalayrid. Jalayrid, like the dudes in Rock? Wait, what's this culture? Can I see this? Nice, the right culture. Shamanist. What if this is a um, an event guy? Because 466, that's pretty good. Also, who's this? also scary that these guys are hordes that pop out with uh, up-to-date tech, like these guys. Oh, never mind, I see what happened. Yuan just completely collapsed. Well, hopefully Ming doesn't go and eat all this, because that would be scary. I don't think he'd have any issues holding on to it either. Start at the top, and we'll improve with people down the line. It's very obnoxious. More diplomats, but I'm not about to take ideas for that. And lots of money. That's nice. Now we're down to nine. Like ten and a half, right? What happened? Uh. Oh, I bet. Yeah, that might have been what happened. Trade power got, or the trade value got reduced. A bunch more tags were created up here. That's probably what happened. The trade value coming out of that. Uh, that node. Clarify. Okay, tech is almost here. Let's see, what does this look like? 500, oh god. I have so much mail. Thinking about it, it might be worthwhile to go ahead and demote now. We'll drop them pretty low. We'll probably have time in between the next conquest. Let them chill out. 
Plus, we're going to get them more land. They should get more money and then be happy again. I want to make the lesser nobles much more influential. Because realistically, we only have a handful of provinces, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 11, 12, 13. So, it's more effective to spend 40 loyalty when you have more provinces, right? Nice. A workshop? Greater Nobles, that's actually the burgers who built that. Casino here. I do not agree with that purchase, but okay. This is not an effective way to use your money. Population of 14,000. Whatever. Could have saved it for like a merchant guild. But it's fine. A big deal. Yeah, I do love those pop-ups. I love seeing my subjects actually investing their money rather than letting it just kill. How much money are you making? 20 ducats a year? 100 ducats a year? 30 ducats a year? Not bad. Once we get a decent amount of stability, I might... No, that's not worth it. Not yet. Not while we still have a bunch of privileges here. Yeah. Not too bad, though. Those privileges aren't too painful. Probably want to get rid of the autonomy one, though. What are we doing on AE? So the main thing I'm looking for is Ming's AE. Once that gets down to zero, we, we basically have to go to war. Otherwise, it'll feel inefficient. And I don't like feeling inefficient. I don't have any rivals, but we'll keep an eye on Joseon. No manpower. Beautiful. Get his land back. This is good and bad. Okay, I guess he doesn't have this province. Never mind means I can take it from him. Event. I wonder what this event is. Let's see in the debug mode. Look it up and see what the meantime to happen is. They happen like every year though. I do not, or I'm not complaining. I want to know. The next institution is Renaissance, right? Got plenty of time to uh, be ahead on tech. Click, click. I'll build Craftsman's District. Not going to do that. Wait, are we going to do that? Probably worthwhile. That's eh, pretty expensive. Maybe not yet. That would be a good investment for sure. First 160,000 urban pop get plus one urban production compared to the first ADK getting 0.95. Liang. Liang, Liang, Liang. That's west? Southwest? Yes, I think so. I think they're over here somewhere. Might have been that OPM that was just chilling. Maximum shot up real... Wow, okay. Yeah, 12... 13,000. Much different than what it was. That being said, I could get some manpower from my states in the meantime. I don't think it's worth it yet. Until we truly need it. We get a decent amount. 9,000 from you. Maybe. You want to save the loyalty for uh, moting and whatnot. We're gonna hit the mill cap. Strange. Very strange. Not often you hit the cap in uh, Mayo and Texas. Eventually, I will need to go and eat this guy as well. He's just another tag that can join the coalition. But it would require boats. Also, he doesn't. 
is a level zero port. I'm not quite sure communication would work out very well. We'd probably be finding Korra, to be honest. Uh, get a lot of troops, surprisingly. We probably just won't mess with it, there's no point. Continue getting claims wherever we can. Again, we'll take the free money. Plus the nobles want more. Um, hmm. So eight loyalty is a lot. It's not too bad. Like the way I'm seeing this is potential stability hit versus a loyalty. Loyalty is certainly more fluid, but we have more influence over stability. We'll go ahead and do that. It's not that big of a deal. Besides, they're really weak right now. And what is five on me, really? Because eight loyalty is one fifth of a um, of a demote, right? Oh, I'm working down the list. Honestly, we should just do an alphabetical order. You maxed out. Pretty close. Haven't even been touched yet. Yeah, like I was saying, with clicking the button, empower Kami, can't do because we don't have the points right now, they only go independent. Classic schools, eh, we don't need that. Um, but they only go independent if they hit 100 or greater liberty desire. So in theory, we could click it now, and I don't think anybody would get that high up. But I think it's just better that we wait. Because we can eat all of this and get a pretty good power base. And then just be too scary for them to be disloyal. So, that makes more sense. Any reason to not be building boats? We want to build a couple trade ships. Have a good port. I like eyeballing, looking for numbers to be lower than 654. Let's just build it here. 597. We'll do two. We'll go over the force limit, but great ships are pretty strong. Usually worthwhile. We have a lot of claims. I don't know that we're going to be able to take that much. Because we took however much dev over here. It was enough to get like 35-ish aggressive expansion with Ming, if I remember correctly. So, we could just start improving relations and be fine. I don't know if it's worth it. It's sort of mostly done spying on him, but getting the spy network up is not bad. Because spy network will siege ability. Siege ability is really nice when there's a level 3 coastal fort. bit counts. You're ahead on Miltech, but I don't think it's significant enough to even be really noteworthy. Our infantry shock would be helpful. They don't want to buy this ahead of time. Planning on doing uh, leadership ideas next. Our air is malevolent. Beautiful. That's what I want. A lot of money. Probably throw some more at this. Um, well, I will want to workshop at some point. Urban gravity is not close to 40,000 yet, but 
It's halfway there. That's good enough for me. Throw down a workshop. Pretty big investment, but I think this will be a pretty decent city once we get the ball rolling. One thing to note, in this coming war, it's going to suck. We're going to have to defend this land, otherwise he'll just siege it. I'd like to build a fort, but I think we uh, have the time, mostly. Not really a good place to put one either. Best four placement would be right here in Young Siu. We need to block off straight right here. Does technically Ming can walk all the way around and down through Hokkaido. We're not paying attention, so realistically we just need to block this straight. And right here would be more than enough, and then they'll just attrition in Hokkaido. So that's something to think about in the future. We need to worry about it so much right now, but Eventually, it will most certainly be relevant. I'm gonna want another cav relatively soon. My four stack might be a little too cav heavy. On this mod, it's better to have cav than not. Also, we just picked up a ton of, it, of force limit. Don't know why. Maybe something just recalculate with my subjects. I don't know. But I mean, we got more. We'll go like a 6 4. Go, there goes all my manpower. That being said, though, maybe we don't do the infantry. Grab a mark. Like that. We won over the force limit. We'll guarantee that we have enough infantry, I think. And we'll save manpower by having mercs. Yeah, our cavalry will do a lot of work. Okay, on to the next object. I'm just going to do this. It's too much work. What does maintenance look like when we are at full? Game. That's it? Oh cool, that's not bad at all. Handle that for sure. Meet up over here. Yeah, our fort defensiveness over here is really bad. Um, so what I'm thinking we're going to have to do is we're going to have to grind down their manpower and then just kill their army. They don't have much manpower already. Now where do we want to go? Probably Korea Strait. Also not impossible that it would make sense to Oh no, that's a lot of power. Not a 
over there too. Okay, yeah, let's do that. We could potentially privateer Ming. That's probably not a good idea though. Probably shouldn't piss off uh, the big China man. Very strong. Okie doke. The boats are up. Oh, uh, I did want to put you guys on that just in case. Same thing. Because they're too valuable to lose when or by or from not paying attention. So, I'm safe. Almost time. I think we'll be ready for war as soon as these cores finish. We'll be in another or three and a half. And we well actually depends on this. Yeah, that'll time out about the same way. At the same time, so. Cool. Anyways, that'll be the end of this episode. So thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.